Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. I are good bars. Now I know y'all probably thinking, oh dang, what's Ron into today? Hey, you know what? I was thinking about, you know me, I you know, I always talk about, you know, those uh select men, the good bar types, all of that, right? But, you know, there's a fascinating type of good bar. Because there's different types, right? But there's a fascinating type. And this the, this one deals with interracial relationships, right? It's mainly prevalent among black men, right? Even though you, do, you might see this with some other races occasionally, right? But it's very prevalent among black men. You'll have a, a brother, right? Black man, right? who with black women gets no love in fact he, he's distinctly non-select and i mean and he could be you know what he, he might not even be cool with even other black men to be honest with you even they looking at him and you know they calling him uh corny or lame or whatever you know dude could even be like uh you know among some brothers be called an oreo or something right Whatever the case, right? So it's like the brothers might not be feeling might. Brothers, you know, we ain't tripping that much. But the sisters definitely not feeling them, right? Yet, this dude is getting all the play on the planet. Because he's getting it from non-black women. You know? In many cases, it's a white woman. But then it could also be... And uh, Asian women, uh, Hispanic women, uh, shoot, Eskimos. And it is, it's, the, it's, the most, it's the most fascinating thing. And I mean, I've seen it so many times. Like you see that one dude and you like, yeah, sisters ain't going to feel him. In fact, sisters might even tell him like, you know what? You don't look like that type who would date a, a black woman. And get all that stuff. But then the white women are feeling him, you know? You'll get them calling him corny, or a lot of them, shoot, they might not even find a man attractive. But then you talk to some white women, the same white women that's checking for him, well, you know, refer to my last video. You know, you know if a guy's about it, if by how the women are checking for him, he's making out like a bandit. I mean, and I've seen it so many times. I mean, I mean I've seen so many cases knowing, because Rom know everybody, right? But I've known several white women going crazy over some brother. You know, and I mean, we ain't talking about just some on some mandingo thing or some fetish thing. But, you know, they be saying that brother is gorgeous. That man is gorgeous. or That, that man is it. But you put that brother like within the black community. Shoot, he, you know, he's an alpha with one group and then he's a he's a delta with the other group. He ain't even a beta. He's a delta. Even a gamma. Whichever one is lowest on the Greek alphabet. You know how I feel about it anyway. But just using that as a reference. And it's, it's the most amazing thing. And I mean, yeah, of course you get the regular stuff. You get, uh, you know, some sisters who see the brother with the women or the women going crazy. And he was like, you know, he called him a sellout or whatever, or a coon or whatever. And you'd just be like, well, damn, you didn't want him. Sometimes I would ask sisters that, too. It's like, would you want him? And when they answer, they always answer, no. And I was like, then why are you tripping? Well, he could be for somebody else. Well, they said they probably rejected him, too. And you know what's funny? It's not even, even a case of rejection, though, in this case, especially when you talk about the ones who dating multiple women of another race and it's not even uh like i said earlier it's not even just about black men because you got some white guys like that they won't shoot like white women just ain't feeling them but shoot they shoot they got a long list of sisters or asian women or hispanic women that they done conquered you know it goes across but i mean it's you know with the brothers you just see it more right and it's the most it's, it's the most interesting. It makes you think, though, too, sometimes. You just, because I'd be thinking about that. I'm like, well, hold up. How will these women be finding him attractive, but, you know, the women of his own group don't? 
And it ain't like he going for, I know some people say, well, he probably going for those, like, those ugly ones or something. Like, nah, these be some drop dead gorgeous ones. Because, y'all, check it out. Like, in the area I live is uh, predominantly white. And for those of y'all who, like, checked out my background and stuff, uh, check the, yeah, it's since y'all finding stuff, they, y'all find the zip. God knows one person out there. Him and a group of women like was looking up all my shit. I was like, I hope they looked up my zip code and saw what the median income was. So isn't that like a poor area or something, right? And you be seeing brothers around with some straight up dime piece white girls and whatnot. You know, several of them they going crazy in there, everything, fighting over them and whatnot. Shoot. You seen plenty of uh, grandparents with their brown grandkids and whatnot, but this ain't about just a uh, interracial thing. I mean, that that can be anybody. That can be anybody. This thing is just—it's amazing. I don't know. It's just an interesting phenomenon to me, because then you start asking, okay, well, what's up? That's when you start looking into other aspects of the relationship, you know. You know, especially with the black male white female thing, right? Especially if this dude, this brother, not just getting one, but several. Because, see, that's that's what makes it interesting. He's getting several. You know, he'll get go in a room full of white women. Right? And they're all going crazy. but And they be attractive ones. But you go in a room full of sisters. And they, they shoot. They're looking at them like a roach. And some of them play into it. Some of them, you know, some of the brothers, if you, like I say, sometimes other brothers will say, well, he's just an Oreo or whatever. And you know what? That may be the case. That that may be the case. But, you know, it's still, it's still interesting. It's still interesting. And, you know, it's still the whole good bar thing, you know. It's like they serving at his at his whim, at his pleasure, and when he's finished, he dismisses them like the maid. That's good bar game in a nutshell. He's just doing it with a different group. And some of them just they just embrace it and, you know, go with it. And you know, like this ain't a shade against the sisters, anything like that. And you know, this ain't encouraging anybody to go out and do whatever. It's just a real phenomenon. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just it's just an interesting thing, you know. And actually, though, it actually speaks to what I've always said about someone finding their niche or their niche. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm thinking about Nietzsche. I'm about to get all philosophical on you and stuff, y'all. <laughs> y'all don't know. I, I get deep. I could start a philosophy channel, but shoot, I probably only have 100 philo- uh, philosophers, 100 subscribers. But... No, but what I, I spoke in a video about a niche, you know, just finding the group of, any man just need to find a group of women that are feeling them. And I mean, you know, with anybody, it don't necessarily have to be a racial thing. It could be a subcultural thing. You know, like using the black community as an example. <clears throat> it could be one of those uh, quote-unquote hotel brothers. You know, macking out like crazy with Hotep sisters. And, there's, and, and anybody who's familiar with that community know that's the case. You know, you got some brothers up there, you know, they, you know, they rocking the onk and may have locks, you know, eating vegan and stuff and stroking about six women. <laughs> you know, it goes across the, I mean, that, that's it, shoot. You know, like I said, you get... You got some white guy. I knew a white guy, right? I knew a white guy. He, he was my... Uh, I actually bought incense from him. Like, going, they still on some hippie tip, right? And... <laughs> that dude... <laughs> that dude was one of my favorite. That dude... That dude had the uh, hippie women in the, whatever community it is around here on lock. <laughs> like, that dude. That was like, man... <laughs> And, you know, and sometimes you get some people, uh, like I've, uh, you know, I've known some uh, know some white guys again. Like I said, this ain't just about brothers, but I've known some white guys who, a couple, who, you know, they were in the Asian culture and stuff, and shoot, they go in a room full of Asians, and they could speak whatever the language was, boom, boom. <laughs> 
But yeah, that are uh, IR good bar. Yeah, that's a. Uh, you know what uh, the thing is with that? It really is just finding that niche. You know, finding the women that are celebrating you, the women that are feeling you. Because ultimately, you know, we always talking about that game and getting women and stuff, but the smartest game, really, is just figuring out who's feeling you and then acting accordingly. You know, and sometimes it's not always going to be who you think. You know, because it's funny. I'll use myself as an example. You know, and I've been very clear. I like the I like the loaf of sisters. I like natural hair, right? But ironically, <laughs> it'd be those pressed haired uh, sisters more on the slim side be like feeling me. <laughs> Coming for a brother hard. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I pay, I pay a little bit of attention. But anyway, right? That's it for this one. I'm just, uh, I'm just throwing some stuff out there. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, oh. Before I even go further, check out um, check out my article today on the Negro Manosphere. Um, check out my video on Ron Wills about that business. I, I gotta remember I gotta remember make that announcement like from the get go. So anyway, check out my other stuff uh, and y'all have a good day. Peace. <laughs>